Hello, 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 and welcome back to another Rise of Empire videos with me, Mr. Gill. Thank you so much for joining me, and thank you so much for all of your previous views, likes, comments, suggestions, subscriptions, and all of that jazz. There's a new thing, and it's called the Chamber of Commerce. You can find it by going to the Benefit Center. When you click on the Benefit Center, you can see the Caesar Chamber of Commerce. So this came in an update about a day ago, two days ago maybe, a day and a half ago. Let's say it was a day and a half. I won't lie in. day and a half ago. If you haven't updated, please visit your friendly app store, Google Play thingy, and do the updates. That will then give you access to the Caesar Chamber of Commerce. The Caesar Chamber of Commerce is a way of investing resources uh, in order to grow them through uh, returns basically now you can see down here we have a number of resources that we can invest and therefore earn returns on however you will also notice that a number of them are shielded or locked why did i think they're shielded but they're locked with these little things in order to unlock those things you need to press this button you need to press unlock and then you need to spend some money as with all things in the row that we love and hate, uh, money spending is encouraged in every possible way, shape, and form. However, for all us F2P players out there, that is free-to-play players out there, there is one option in the Caesar Chamber of Commerce that is not uh, locked, and that is available to all players. So that means people who are not spending any money. And that is this first one here, which I believe, and as we've only seen this Chamber of Commerce once, this is the first time, I believe this will always be a gem investment. I'm going to make that uh, prediction now that the first one, the unlocked uh, Chamber of Commerce investment available to all players will always be a gem investment. Uh, we could try and see if we do that. Now we do get 10 chances to cycle through. So let's actually give that a shot and see what happens there. Bam. Ooh. Now that is something I didn't know, and I have to write that down. Courage medals can be got from Chamber of Commerce. That's a new place that courage medals can became, come from. Three days, you get 15%. That actually might be good. That actually is not too bad. However, as you can see, what you do is you place your resources in uh, to the Chamber of Commerce, uh, and you will see that it gives you a little kind of a bank statement, so to speak. We're going to get 10% revenue, so by investing 600 of these gems for seven days, I believe it was, we will receive 600 back. That is an absolute ridiculous waste of time. <laughs> Uh, I mean, gems at any point in the game become relatively easy to get. 600 gems for 7 days of 6,000 invested is a very poor return. And really, I mean, it's fine because it's free gems, but it's not really worth it. Uh, I, I mean, look, it's worth it because I just clicked a button and I don't really need those 6,000 gems. But if I guess if I was using all those gems, it wouldn't really be worth it. It might slow me down in some way. So I don't think it's a fantastic thing. Now, the Chamber of Commerce is something that's going to pop along every so often. You can see this one lasts for about 14 days. So I'd probably suggest that what's going to happen is that it's going to come for 14 days, then it's going to disappear for probably 14 days, and then it's going to come back for 14 days, and then disappear for 14 days. Is it worth investing in a pack in order to unlock some of these things? Um, purchase any packs to unlock all investment products. Okay, so then the packs themselves can be quite cheap. I believe there's a couple of packs that go for a couple of dollars. So by doing that, investing a couple of dollars, you get the option obviously to open some of these. Now some of these are not too bad. That definitely is interesting. What is 15? It doesn't, it won't allow me to see how much, but if we were going to invest as all the current, say we were going to invest a thousand, we get 15% back, which would be 150 courage medals. To invest a thousand over three days, 150 courage medals is quite good. 150 courage medals is worth how many hero medals? Uh, 200 hero medals. 200 hero medals are achievable through hourly challenges chest number three a hero token sorry so 200 would take me uh 10 of these chests which is roughly gonna say say i was being the best in the entire world that'd be 10 hours of gameplay quite a lot of resources and lots of other speed ups that would have to go into achieving that amount of courage medals and it'd take me roughly a day so Look, that is worth it. 
if you could always almost be guaranteed this investment here, Courage Metal Investment, 15% for three days. And let's see what happens if we do it again. No more Courage Metal. Let's see if again. No more Courage Metal. More gems. Again. No Courage Metal. Again. No more Courage. Again. Ooh, courage Metals again. That's 15% for three days again. So maybe that's a standard Courage Metal investment. 15% for three days. I actually think for 150 je uh, Courage Metals. Did I say 150? Yeah. That would be 150 for three days. That's actually not a bad deal. It's not a bad deal. Uh, so, look, if, it, if, it's, if it's a $2 investment in packs in order to open up that, which you're then still using, you know, you're not buying the metals, you're still using your metals to invest. They're sitting away from your, your space. I actually think that's possibly a pretty good idea. I would, I would jump at the chance to get any extra courage metals. Whilst they are easier to get these days than they were back in my day, back in my day when we had to climb a mountain to get to school uh yeah any chance to get courage medals is a good chance um and i would strongly think about it i i'll tell you what i'm 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 tempted now i'm tempted to drop two dollars on the game so i can do that hmm anyway once you've invested you'll see there's a time a duration seven days in seven days we're going to be able to claim these gems back we're going to get our extra 600 gems Woohoo! Um, and then we will probably have another chance to invest again, considering there's 12 days left of the actual Chamber of Commerce. And then we'll roll these out and see if we get anything else and see if the first investment here, which I am believing will always be gems, if that actually will change over time. Um, this is not a bad thing. It's, it's a good deal, I guess, you know, for zero effort and all that kind of stuff. It's not a bad deal at all. Uh, I would strongly recommend that you at least take... Uh, some uh, advantage of it but otherwise i don't think it's uh, an amazing thing and i don't think it's a game-changing invention at all thank you so much for watching let me know down below what you think of the caesar chamber of commerce so let me know if you've seen other things uh, i'd love if if there's a different one of these if there's like a 20 percent courage medal for two days or something that's a definite definite oh okay let's spend two bucks type of situation um i'm not averse to spending money i just don't like it i don't like spending money <laughs> it's my money I, I use my money for beer um so i'm not adverse to actually spending the money i'd prefer not to though but something like that becomes a very good time versus benefit uh calculation for me two dollars to get these which over time would save me more time is, is is a wise investment in my view anyway thank you so much for watching let me know down below what you think and i'll catch you in the next one bye